to stick to the hole. Oh, you forgot your safety glasses. Yeah, but... We've been having those on the whole time, but we forgot right this last moment. We were doing a quick little solder fix with our antenna. Yeah. So what are you doing? Making a, ra a transmitter radio so I can listen to my songs on the radio. AM or FM? FM. Oh, what's the difference between FM and AM? The AM but is more... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Tell me what mommy says. Go ahead. What's mommy say? That the AM radio is like a lot of talking. A lot of talking. What a flagger. What did you teach these children? <laughs> AM radio is only for talking. I talk in the truth. <laughs> anyway, it's all right. I didn't really go over that. AM is amplitude, amplitude modulation, and FM is frequency modulation. So, how old are you? I'm um, 10. And I taught you in the last week? Yeah, at least, yeah. How to solder? How to read capacitors? Fine. How to read it resistors? And you picked out all your values? And we had to make up some other values with multiple capacitors? And where was the end? And, uh... What? It's alright. Show me your circuit. Show me your circuit. My circuit. Give me close. Give me close. Come up here. Let me see this thing. Give me close. Oh my goodness. That looks like a mess. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? So you just put okay. an antenna. We haven't tried to tune it or anything yet. But we do have the uh, spectrum analyzer out. So we can um, check the frequency with this new antenna and see where it's at. So we are going to... What are we going to do now? What are you doing? Oh, you're going to finish, finish that. So let's see if you remember anything. What do you What do you do... When you're trying to solder a wire to that board. I have to ten it. Ten what? The wire and the board if it doesn't have solder on it. Cool. Cool. And then what do you do when you're done with the soldering iron? I put a little bit of solder on there. That way it doesn't ruin the tip when they turn it off. She's, she's learning. She's learning. So, we went over. I didn't film any of this prior, so I'm sorry everyone. But we went over this. And it teaches, we printed this off the internet, and this teaches us how to read what? What is it? What is what? What this? This? Yeah. A chart of a, a band chart? Yeah, a, a color, color band chart. Yeah. But what are these things? Transmitters? No. Yeah, you, you lost your thought. Yeah, yeah. Resistors. Resistors. You knew that. You lost your thought. So that's, we taught her how to read. Taught her how to read all the colors and the charts. And we did some examples here. So real quickly, remind me how to read a resistor. Do you remember? A resistor, like the number? Yep. Well, first you have to look at the color, the color code. And then whatever number... Green... Wait... If it was green, like pretend this is yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And then we were looking for the number. We would go to the first one, which is green, and then we would say five. Okay. And then blue, which would be six, so five hundred and six, and then yellow would be four, so five. Which is our. Oh, the gold. Remember? No, which is our remember? Which is our multiplier? Oh yeah. The third band. So you take your five and your six. And you multiply it by what was our last one? The last one. This one. Oh yeah, we we divided it by multiply it by four, and that would be. No, it's okay. We didn't we we didn't go over this before we started this video. You had your first right, your five and your six. Your five and your six. Then the third band is your multiplier. So five six multiplied by. Ten k. Yeah, and what's this horseshoe symbol? Um, ants. Ohms. Oh, that's okay. You were close. It, we we had our time because we haven't done that too much. Yeah. So there's that value of this guy. Yeah. So you're 56 times your 10k. So you got remember you got your extra zero on there. Cool. Yeah. So what do we got in this book? How to build this. How to build that. Yeah. So we went online. We found a few. She found an AM one that was overcomplicated, and yeah. then I went and looked for a, a a simple simple one, and it actually okay. ended up being. 
difficult. Yeah, the difficulty says hard. Hard, but like it's an, simple. Yeah, <laughs> super simple. Difficulty hard. FM transmitter. Yeah, which is funny. <laughs> it I'm is like, actually. What? Yeah. So this was on uh, Make Community. If you guys want to look it up. Um, There's lots of other projects. Make there. Mazzine's super simple FM transmitter. Actually, it's a really good. It's a really good. Yeah. One for even for you, know. brand new, never knowing what you're doing, right? Okay, so show us, uh, show us a little bit. We got, what's that? A board. Schematic. Oh, a schematic. Yeah, 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 schematic. So, that shows this. That shows that, exactly. So, this is that, right there. So, if you guys want to go look it up, you can figure out how it works. we put the antenna on it. Yeah, we added the antenna. We didn't ground it. We just added a straight-up antenna, so we'll see how that works out for us. Probably the wrong antenna for... FM, but whatever. Yeah, it's meant for a car. For an RC car? Yeah. Okay. And then, hold on, Lily. And then basically, we go, what do you want, Lily? Can I have a pasta now? Because I ate all my dumplings. Okay. Eat it at the table. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. So, this is what you built. Yeah. It's fun. I love it. It is pretty cool. I kind of miss it? building it, though. I don't, it, yeah, you, you, yeah. I'm excited it's done, I just miss, like, working on it and doing fun stuff. Yeah, and, and what else are we going to do past this? What else are we going to do? This works, but now what do we need to do? Yeah, it works. I, uh, the antenna work. Put I don't know yet. On there? Well, yeah, we can listen to it, but we were going to add some more stuff and finish some more things. We're not quite done. Oh, yeah, we're going to put it in a box and put a switch on it. That way I can just turn it off and on. Yeah, and rechargeable battery. Yes, and rechargeable. Because it runs on a 9 volt, which we only ruined two because we had some shorts. <laughs> Look at that face. Her first experience of screwing something up. It's pretty funny. The battery got super hot. Yeah, two of them. Anyway, so here's our parts parts list. And you learned how to read these things, yep. which were what? Yeah, what are, the, what are these? Oh, the capacitors. The capacitors. And do you remember? How do you read that value right there? Go ahead, try. You can look at it, but how, what was I know it? F is freakish, freak, freak, freak. No. I just, know. just read it. Just read the one. Capacitor, ceramic disc, zero dot zero one U S. Yeah. U Remember what the U stand for? Humidity. No, micro. Mm. And uh, how do you read capacitance? What's the value? Frequency. Frequency. Fair. <laughs> yeah, I lost. I don't know. Fair ads. Oh, fair ads. She's been having a hard time remembering that, which she's only been taught for like a, well, three days, so it's not bad. Fair ads, remember? Yeah, you remember now. Anyway, <laughs> so we did the uh, how to read a capacitor code. We wrote down all your stuff. You did all this. Yeah. And then, um, and then your your like resistors the went through all your resistors. So I got a bunch of electronics up here, and we just well, you went through them all, found all the parts, didn't you? Yeah. That took it you. It only took me like an hour, or at least. At least, or longer. Yeah. And we couldn't find any ten pico farad capacitors. So what yeah, did we do? We make their own. So we took two sixteen pico farads and made it balanced out. It's right about ten ish. We just had to add another one. Yeah, we added more. Why did we do that? Because it was too high. The frequency was too high. We had to make it lower for it to be in the right inside the box. That way we could work. That way it would reach far enough. In the window of FM frequencies, so we could tune it to our radio. Yeah, otherwise it won't. It won't work. Yeah, it was. We couldn't find the station. Yeah, but when you when we did that, I'm like, oh, there it is. There's yeah, the box. exactly. Yeah, so that worked. So we got this coil that you made by hand. Yep. And you tuned it. Yep. Well, we squashed it to make yeah. the frequency change, and then we tuned the capacitors to change the frequency. So, what this guide does not tell you, it's a really nice guide. We printed it out, it gives you pictures of what to do and how to build it. But the one thing it does not do is give you a true um, theory of operation. It kind of just skips it, and maybe there's more information uh, on this other website where the original circuit, I think, came from. Um, however... Uh, if somebody wants to, please go down in the description and teach Miss Riley exactly the theory of operation behind yeah. this circuit, right? Uh -huh. So you can really understand it. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, um, we're going to hook it up.
to the battery. So here's our battery. Go ahead. Let's move this, and we got our frequency. Uh, um, Whoa, I put a different. I put a different probe on there, but we got our spectrum analyzer here, and you can see we're in the bands between. Um, that's is that really 160 and 50? I guess it is. Boom! There's your peak. It came on right when you plugged it in. Look, the frequency went back up with that new antenna. Huh. And look how far away my probe is now. Remember, I had to have the other probe mm -hmm. right next mm -hmm. to it. Fell over. Remember how I had the other one right next to it? Look how good that peak is now. But the reason that it's so good is because I turned on the other. Oops. I turned on the other um, um, thing, so it shows me which has the highest amplitude for the long amount of time. Uh, and what's it that other peak? It. There's two peaks. You mean here? No, the other one. There's here? Two peaks. Oh, that one? Yeah, it's a peak. I don't know. Wow, you can do it pretty. Oh, the closer you get, the higher it goes. Yeah, so I'm gonna set this right there, and, that's and you can see yep. that we are at roughly 106.9 megahertz. So right at the top of the A of the FM frequency band. Yeah. So now, where is your device to listen? Okay. Also, that's my that I... All right. So you found your what? What? Are, what is that? It's a laser radio headphones. Don't tell me they're headphones. Radio. You said radio. Transmitter? Oh, you oh, built it. that transmitter. That is a... Receiver. There you go. Receiver. So it took a while for me to explain to her what in the heck a transmitter receiver is. So here's my drawing of the transmitter receiver. Here's our unit. Here's our frequencies. Here's the other radio stations. Here's the headphones. And I explained to her that she is transmitting. She's picking up these frequencies from other radio stations with different frequencies and we need to tune the radio into her frequency so we need to plug in a phone to play some music and in this case I'm actually going to record something audio for us to talk so we can hear it on the radio because I don't want to get a copyright or something to playing music so I will set that up real quick before we get started so give me just a second okay so, we recorded a little video on this phone. Hi, Riley. Hello. We're recording a video so to play back. So, plug in our audio. Radio transmitter and my radio. Is that how far Keep going. Okay. So, when she plugged that in, actually looked like this thing got even wider. Like, it's doing the frequency modulation, so the frequency's wider band. I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, you have to push play. Hey, Daddy, can you check if it's on FM? It is on FM, but you're all the way down. You're going the wrong way. Should be about there. You hear it? All right, let us listen. Yeah, let us listen. All right, I need to turn the volume down and see if it gets better. Sound better? Okay. She can't hear really... It's better now. It's better? Here, let me turn it up. Let's see if I can do it. Here, hold those, stretch those out. I'm going to get close. So this video is the audio that's going to be playing through that, through that, as a demo on our video, which we are recording at this moment. So, you have successfully built, pretty well by yourself, an FM transmitter. Mm -hmm. And it works. So, um, and why exactly did you build this? So I can put my phones in there, I can listen to, to them on the radio. Yeah, she asked me. She said, hey, how do you get your songs on the radio? And I went down this long explanation of, like, being popular and getting your band out there and signing a label and maybe you'll get on the radio. And then I think you asked me something like, no, how do I play songs on the radio? Yeah. And I said, you build an FM or AM transmitter. And you build your own radio station. And she said, can we do that? And I said, get on the internet and try to find one. And she did. She went to the internet, punched in it, tried to find one. She found an AM one, but it was pretty complicated. It had a lot of extra parts, and we didn't have those parts. Yeah, so we have some, something simpler to use than that. 
that way we had the price to build it. Yep. So we found, I got on there and looked and found something. First one probably came up was this one. Good instructions. Simple layout. Really fun way to build a circuit and get it to work. You tuned in. You're out of tune. And, uh, what's it at? 106.9 and you're on 108. So when we first fired this up, this guy was putting out a frequency of like way higher than this. It was like 140 megahertz and there was we couldn't find it. So I got this out, hooked it up, figured out what we were measuring. Then we tuned the circuit and got it right, got it working. But yeah, she pretty well did this all by herself. Look at that face. The excitement of something that works. It works. I know, it's really cool, isn't it? How far can you go? Oh, she can't hear me. Because those things are like noise it canceling. With the antenna on it. How far can you go? I'll see. Okay. You go walk out. Play, huh? Oh, okay. Just go walk out by the backyard and see if it still works. It, it keeps... Does it? Yeah. Maybe we move this away. What frequency are you on? You're too high. Go down. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so she built this all by herself. And I taught her how to read resistors, taught her how to read capacitors. I even, she looked up the data sheet for the transistor. It's a 1N uh, 4906, no, 4904, I believe, if I remember right. Can't even remember. Oh, I'm supposed to hit play. I forgot to hit, I forgot to hit play, sorry. It is just a little with my help because I got the antenna. Yes, Dexter gave us the antenna off your, what was it on? Your car. A remote control car you took apart? Mm -hmm. So, um, anyway, this was a fun experience and project learning how to read capacitors and values and how the circuit lays out and um, everything. So we're going to put a little rechargeable battery on here and a switch. Um, and then she can hook this up to whatever device she likes to and listen to her own radio stations. Let's see what she says when she comes back. So she tell us how far this thing actually transmitted. I can only go up to the top stair. Yeah? You can only go up to the top stair? Yeah, the only way. All right, take those off for now. And, uh, let's finish this video, so... But Dad said to go outside. That's okay. I didn't hear him. Daddy, That's what fine. Is this? It's a probe, Elijah. Just hold on one second. I will show you a little more about that. So anyway, um, yeah, you learned a lot. Yeah. You learned how to solder, learn how to read values, learn how to do all kinds of fun stuff. So what are you going to build next? I don't know. We've got to finish this one first. Yeah, we need to get building something else. Yeah, we need to get tuned in a little better and put it in a box and see if yeah. it holds the frequency. Because it seems like one. when you come and like touch it, especially or get close to it, Wait. it's pretty steady right there. Yeah. But Oh, I didn't touch the circuit, though. Yeah, if you get close to the circuit. Yeah. When I went like this yesterday, picking my sound, it went shh. Like Cha it went like changed. This. Yeah. It's so, so, it's so sensitive. It's so sensitive, yeah, because it's just built on that copper clad board. Yeah. But uh, I love building circuits like that. Yeah. All right, any last things you have to say? Let's buy the park already. And be safe. Buy and be safe. Yeah. And read the Bible more. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.